there. Hi. Hi, my name's Amy. I'm going to be your nurse today. Hey, hi, I'm Linda. This is my husband, Bob. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Um, can you tell me a little bit about why? Well, I'm just really anxious and I'm panicky and I get panicked in public and I just don't feel comfortable. Okay, I understand. Um, that's what we have in your chart here. And I talked with your doctor and he did diagnose you with a panic disorder. Okay. And he also um, prescribed Clonopin for your treatment. And now what does that do? How does that affect me? Well, clonopin is a benzodiazepine, and it acts on the brain and nerves, mainly the central nervous system. And what that's going to do is provide a calming effect throughout your body to okay. settle you down a little bit. Okay, that's great. Um, how many do I take in a day? Do I take one? Do I take two? Um, I see here you're going to be taking them twice a day. It's okay. in 0.25 milligram dosage, mm -hmm. and your doctor might adjust that dose um, depending on how things go. Um, it's really important not to exceed more than four milligrams a day, though. Okay. Are there any harsh side effects that she's going to have to deal with? Um, there are some, things like body aches and chills, but mainly to look out for um, things like confusion, hallucinations, hysteria, <clears throat> and definitely depression. Also, I was talking to the doctor not too long ago. The doctor was saying that you shouldn't drive or operate machinery in, until we figure out what kind of uh, actions this drug is going to have on your body specifically. Mm -hmm. um, also, you need to quit drinking. Because you can't have alcohol or any other depressants while you're taking this drug. Mm -hmm. The third thing he said was, if if um, if you start having suicidal thoughts, we need to take you off the medication immediately. We wouldn't want anything bad happening. No, yeah, we wouldn't. Those are really good um, thoughts and <clears throat> ideas to bring up. So thanks for that. And before I give you your medicine here, mm -hmm. I just need to make sure that you're not allergic to any benzodiazepines. Nope. Okay. And you're not pregnant or breastfeeding nope. this time. Okay, well, here you go. Thank you. Do you guys have any more questions? Nope. nope. Okay. Thanks, nurse. You're welcome. Clonopin is contraindicated in anyone with a hypersensitivity to clonazepam or other benzodiazepines. You should not take clonopin if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or have severe liver disease. You should instruct your patients to take medication exactly as directed and to take missed doses within one hour or omit. Do not double doses. Abrupt withdrawal of clonazepam may cause status epilepticus, tremors, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal and muscle cramps. Instruct patients to read the medication guide before starting and with each prescription refill, as changes may occur. Advise the patient not to share medication with others. Medication may cause drowsiness or dizziness. Advise the patient to avoid driving or other activities requiring alertness until response to drug is known. Caution the patient to avoid taking alcohol or other CNS depressants concurrently with this medication and advise the patient to notify the healthcare professional of medication regimen prior to treatment or surgery. Instruct the patient and her family to notify healthcare professionals of unusual tiredness, bleeding, sore throat, fever, clay-colored stools, yellowing of skin, or behavioral changes. Advise the patient and family to notify healthcare professionals if thoughts about suicide or dying, attempts to commit suicide, New or worse depression or new or worse anxiety develops. A patient on anticonvulsant therapy should carry ID at all times, describing the disease process and medication regimen. Emphasize the importance of follow-up exams to determine effectiveness of the medication. And advise the patient that clonazepam is usually prescribed for short-term use and does not cure underlying problems.